Hey everybody, Anne here, and today I want to share with you this amazing gift that one of my subscribers sent me too, and we've become very good friends too. She is Finding Joy Through Serving, and I'll leave the link to her YouTube channel below, but she sent me this book because I was constantly just saying, oh, what is this mushroom? What is that mushroom? So check this book out. It's by the National Audubon Society Field Guide to Mushrooms, and it is a very, very cool book. You can see that I've already perused used it quite a bit and I've been turning corners on the pages. I know you're not supposed to do that, but you know what? I, I don't care. I mean, I may as well just totally do every single page. And it's cool because it shows you silhouettes of the different shapes and sizes of mushrooms. And then it goes on to give you full color pictures with the silhouette included. And they've got so many awesome, awesome pictures of all the different kinds of mushrooms. And then it goes on to show you, well, it explains in detail, you know, what they look like, what to, you know, look for in them, the habitat, um, whether or not they're edible or if they're poisonous or hallucinogenic. <laughs> but it is just really, really an amazing gift. And I just cannot tell you how much I appreciate this, Francie. It is just a beautiful book. And I have been reading it every single night before I go to bed. So I figured I'd try and decipher all the different mushrooms that I found thus far. So here we go. Number one, I think this is Hen of the Woods in an aged version. Cap is shelf-like, polypore, fan-shaped, mini-branched. It's edible, yes, choice edible. Habitat found on tree stumps. And I apologize for the rain in the background. It's just raining like crazy. So number two, could this be a fairy ring mushroom? The cap is bell-shaped. It has a knobbed cap, white gills, off-white stalk that is felt-like. It says that it's edible with caution. Habitat, grounds, lawns, grassy areas found in rings. Uh, that's why it's called fairy rings because they find these in circles. And um, I think the younger versions of these are actually much lighter in color. Number three, could this be a yellow red gill polypore? The cap is shelf like. It has red brown with like a um, yellow orange margin. It's flat, stalkless, woody, tough flesh. Uh, the flesh is like rust brown color, almost like wood that it's growing off of. It has gill-like pores, habitat found on dead tree stumps, and is it edible? No, it's not edible. Who would want to eat this? Seriously, look at it. Now, I know this is an aged version of it. Most of the mushrooms you see here today are going to be aged, but I don't know. Number four, I don't know. I, I mean, I seriously do not know what this one is. I couldn't find anything that looked anything like it. It's a very hard mushroom. The cap is shelf-like. It's concave in the middle. It has moss underneath. There's no stalk. I couldn't tell if there were pores or not because of the moss. Um, it's woody and hard. You really just can't even break it open. I mean, I wish I could get this in focus, but I don't know. I, I just have absolutely no idea what this one is. If anybody can, there we go. If anybody can figure this out, please let me know. And see there, I can't even break it in half, it's so tough. I mean, I could even try with two hands and it just absolutely well, I got to open a little bit, but look at that. It's woody, just like that other one is. Huh, I don't know. Hard to say. All right, I didn't actually do a slide on this one. Um, don't know what this is. I've got some that are growing. Um, they're getting bigger. And so I'm going to get one of the bigger ones and pull it off. It could be the exact same one that I was just looking at. I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. This next one, I think we all know what this is. Oh, and those two little things in the bottom there, those are just seed pods from nearby trees. Anyhow, I think this is a purple spored puffball. The cap is large, round, tannish brown, becomes cracked, it's stalkless. The flesh, when it's fresh, is white. As it ages, it becomes purple, and I know this because I harvested one that had been in the ground for a while, and it was purple. Um, habitat, sagebrush, etc. edible. It is a choice edible mushroom. I don't eat after it turns violet because then it's yucky, but it is an awesome mushroom. 
Number six and seven. I don't know if number seven, a little orange one, is an older version of the purplish one, but I think it may be a blackish red Rusula. The cap is convex to flat. It's dark grayish to purple. It gets purple, purplish darkish in the middle. Um, the flesh is brittle. The gills are attached close to distant and they are white. The stalk is thick, enlarged. It's not edible and you can find it on the ground or mixed dead wood. Pretty, ain't it? Number eight, orange mycena or mycena. I'm not sure how to say it. The cap is sticky, shiny, bell shaped, becomes convex and shrunken at the center. It's smooth. It has gills that are orange, detached and close. Stalk is thick and sticky. It's not edible, but it may have medicinal purposes found on dead fallen wood. Number nine, I don't know, is this white cheese mushroom? The cap is white, soft, semicircular, smooth. It's stalkless. Uh, stalkless, flesh is white, soft, spongy, watery when fresh, edible, doesn't say, so I would say no, habitat on dead wood. I found these and it did remind me of white cheese, but these were kind of older versions, so they weren't as moist as the other ones, and this also could be what my number one mushroom is, just maybe a more infant version of it. Number 10, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I thought I knew, but the ones that I thought that it was were growing on ground and these were growing on wood. I have no idea. They have gills. They have kind of like that spiky edge to them. Um, they have a slender stalk, so I don't know what this is. They were growing right next to the next mushroom that you're gonna see. So I don't know, guys. I have no idea what this is. If any of you know what it is, please just let me know. Number 11, like I said, I don't know, this may be like a more mature version of the prior one or maybe a more younger version of the prior one, but I don't know because look, it's got these yellow gills, so I think it's a totally different mushroom. It's a beautiful mushroom. It is absolutely gorgeous. It does have a stalk. The thing is, is I didn't examine them enough in detail when I had them in my hands, so that's a mistake. Now that I have my book, I know kind of what to look for. Number 12, also, I do not know. These are a shelf-like mushroom. I do know on the back, they do not have gills. They have pores. Well, actually, not even pores. It's kind of like, in a minute here, you're going to see a picture of it. I, th I found a whole bunch of them growing on this, this log here. And um, take a look. Some of them grow just kind of like out from the bottom but they still do have a little bit of a stalk. So I couldn't find anything that looked like this. Now see, look at this, this is the back of them. I don't know what this is. I really wish somebody would tell me what this is. I didn't keep any of these, but I would really just love to know. Can you eat them? Um, they were absolutely gorgeous, just gorgeous, gorgeous mushrooms. Number 13, I found these growing in the same area that the uh, orange mycena were growing in, but this looked just a teeny bit different. It looked, the cap looked meatier, um, and the underside, yeah, it looks real similar, you guys, but I just thought that this was such a beautiful mushroom, and it's very small. It's about the same size as the orange mycena, so I'm going to call this an orange mycena, too. Hopefully, that's what it is. Number 14, I'm really not sure about this one either. It doesn't really fall into the small fragile mushroom cap category because the mushroom was about three inches, um, you know, across, but it kind of looks like a oyster mushroom. So it could be a late season oyster mushroom. I'm not really sure, but it's a cool mushroom. Number 15, chicken mushroom or chicken of the woods. The cap is clustered, fleshy, orange, yellow, fan-shaped, weathering to white, which makes me think it might be my number one mushroom. I don't know. Um, there's no stalk. It is choice edible mushroom. Habitat found on stumps, trunks, logs, fallen trees. Indigestible as it ages, and that's why I think this number 16 is an aged chicken of the woods mushroom. So yeah, this looks older. I don't think I'd eat it at this stage. Number 17 mushroom, oyster mushroom, brownish oyster shaped cap, wavy edges, moist and smooth, it has gills descending, brownish to whitish becomes yellowish, flesh is brownish, pleasant odor, it is choice edible mushroom, found in fallen trees, buried stumps, etc. 
Number 18 mushroom, the chanterelle. The cap is orange to yellow, wavy margins. It's fragrant. The stalk is descending pale yellow. Flesh, solid white, bruises orange. It's choice edible mushroom. Habitat is found on the ground under oaks, conifers. Beware of poisonous lookalikes though. I really love mushroom hunting and this book is going to enable me to identify mushrooms accurately and hopefully not kill myself in the process by eating something that is, well, poisonous or hallucinogenic. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.